Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and today we are going to learn how to create a REST API using the Laravel, Laravel and the Laravel Passport and I, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Now, in order to us to get the Laravel, we need to go to the Laravel official page. So let's go and search for the Laravel com and we browse to the documentation and you need to find the installing installing Laravel part which is via composer so we need to following command we need to open our htdocs so by default we will use the htdocs folder to install our laravel package okay so we are here in the htdocs command line and we need to paste the following the composer create project so you can name it whatever you want so let's see the rest of API. So we just have to wait and download and let the composer handle the download of the Laravel. It might take a while depending on your internet connection and your machine. After installing the Laravel or after you successfully install the Laravel, uh, you, we need to migrate, uh, we need to set our database and username and password. So here I will initialize a new DB. After the migration, we need to install the Laravel Passport package by using via Composer. So let's run this or install the Laravel Passport via Composer. So let's see Composer require Laravel Passport. So it's installing the Laravel Passport package. Might take a while depending on your machine and the internet. So it's already installed in my case. So after installing the Laravel passport, we need to run this command. So PHP Artisan Passport install. So, 
what does PHP Artisan Password Install uh, do or command do? So it basically it it generates a password request and grant key for the Laravel Passport client. So let, let's go ahead and run this command. So as you can see, it generates a client ID and a secret for both access and grant. After running the command, you will go and navigate to the app and the user of PHP mobile. And you need to add the class, the Laravel Passport. So in this case, same time you need to tell the Laravel that we will be using the hash API command so this is the Laravel class so basically it tells or it recognizes the Laravel to check the API token so before the magic variable um, just type this hash API token and we are good to go I forgot to mention that we, we also need to register the passport routes into our Laravel uh, project so we can do that by going to the config uh, sorry I app uh, providers and app service provider Oh no, uh, yeah, so the auth service provider, we need to go here and we need to include the class. So let's see, Arabel passport, passport. Then we will register to the, the, the passport routes into the boot function. So we can do that by writing this code routes so the Laravel can now see the passport routes that we are we will be using so finally um, the last step we need to do in order to run the Laravel passport is we need to change the config of uh, the guard so we need to initialize the API password API by going to config oot.php so driver we need to change this to passport after completing the configuration we, we will now go and register our API routes for our project so in this case we will be creating a four routes so let's head over into routes and api.php so you can go here to the routes folder and click the API now we need, you need to paste the following code for this tutorial uh, we will just go and create four things so we have the login the sign up and log out and the user so as you can see we have the middleware oat api so if the current user is login so two functions he can be access or the route that he can access the logout and the user now we need to create a controller Laravel makes it easy to create a controller by running this command can now navigate to the boot controller so in the 
app folder, you navigate to HTTP controllers. Now, we need to include the uh, user model. So, to do that, we need to add after creating the controller. So, we need to add the following code. So, use carbon. So, the carbon package is to set the expiry token or expiration date using the carbon date time package. Um, next is we will now create a sign up sign up function. Now, uh, we will create a validation um, using the validate built-in validate package. So, we were expecting two things, basically, basically three things. Um, the name, the email, and the password. So, let's create a name and the request is a name we have the email request email and the password so here we will say it is required um, say Required and for the password, uh, we need we also set it to required. So the confirm. So we we'll specify the email as string required, and we will also specify it is unique per users. After validating the fields, we will now create the user or save it. So let's go and save it by using the code name. You have the email, and lastly, the password. So we will encrypt via the encrypt bcrypt function and then the request password For the login, we basically need two things. Validate the credentials and create user token. So you can copy paste this code. Let me see. Now 
we need to also set the logout function so here we use the logout request so we will do that by using the user token revoke finally we display the current user The next thing we want to do now is to, to test if it is working. So we run the PHP artisan serve. Um, and we will be using Postman. So Postman is a request tester. So you can download it. So if you're using Chrome, you might want to use Postman. So here we use API root sign up. Suppose we create a name, email, password, confirmation. Let's see if we will send call to undefined function valid. Let's try again. So yeah it creates a successful a new user so we can view so if we look at here the rest api users now let's try the login using the post method oh the post method um then the URL is API root login. So we need to set the body to raw um, data type JSON. So we need to input the registered user valid. So let's see. For the login, we can test it. So yeah so it says it is successful so we have the access token so the token type and the expires at so expiry date is where the access token will be expired let's try the logout on the postman Let's head over and go to logout. Copy paste the access token. Go to the logout. Barrier token. Paste it to the barrier token section. And let's see. Barrier token. Let's paste it. There you go. Successfully log out. Now we will go to show user. So let's go to login. Login again. Copy paste the access token. Go to the authorization. Barrier token. Copy paste the token that we are uh, pasting. We we create a URL called API root user so we set the barrier token and let's see the result the response application to JSON response I see so we need the arrow key is correct so let's send again let's try again there you go 
so i hope this tutorial helps you and if it's useful please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you will be notified when i create a new tutorial or upload new tutorial i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye